Good morning and welcome to this week's video. Uh, this week, come down to Portland Bill again. Uh, we've got some high winds pushing up from the south, which is giving some absolutely horrendous waves here, some big swell. Uh, so I think we'll uh, get some dramatic wave action shots this morning. Uh, we'll try a couple of different shutter speeds, do some, uh, sort of not ridiculously slow, because we want to pick up some detail, but just enough to get a bit of movement in the water. And I also think we're going to need to put maybe a longer lens on and do some faster shutter speeds to pick up some real detail in some of these high breaking swell waves. Okay, right, let's get set up and see what we can get. Okay, so this uh, first shot here, just uh, looking along the coast, using these rocks here as a sort of, from the bottom left-hand corner, they're just jagging, going out to the, uh, the crane there, which is center frame, sort of top, top third. Um, and then what I'm doing is taking several shots, trying to time the waves as they're breaking um, and running off, running off some of these foreground rocks here, um, and then maybe I'll have to blend through. Um, I do want to try and walk a bit further around this coast this morning, um, but the problem I may have is these waves are breaking and just chucking up so much spray inland that um, may cause me a problem. Where I am at the moment, uh, it's, it's not too bad. There's a few rocks down on the beach, so it's actually breaking. The waves are breaking down there before they're hitting the face and sort of chucking a, chucking a wave up into the air. But yeah, uh, some, certainly some big waves coming in. Uh, I've got the, the, the sun is up, but obviously, as you can see, you've got a bit of cloud there. Um, could do with a, just sort of, if the sun would just break through that bit of a gap there and give me some light into here it would be um it would be amazing so uh, i think we're hopeful that fingers crossed okay right let's keep going get some shots so at the uh, moment i'm shooting at iso 64 uh, f11 uh, one tenth of a second um which is which is just picking out some detail um getting a little bit of bit of motion blur but not not a lot there's just the waves are so fierce um i might ch just chuck a uh, six stop filter on in a minute um and just reduce that shutter speed down to maybe uh one sixth of a second one third of a second maybe um just to get a little bit more um detail in the in the in the wave break or, or get a little bit more in the back flow a bit more movement in the back flow and as the waves are splashing it'll it'll spike um with the waves um but i think to be honest i prefer the slightly faster shutter speed uh because it's just giving them a little bit more detail in the power of these waves but i just want to be able to get the right shutter speed to emphasize the the power that they're hitting the hitting the front so i'll i'll try a try a six stop in a minute and see how that works Okay, so I put the six stop on. Um, as predicted, I'm now F11 ISO 64, one third of a second. Um, so uh, this is giving me some slightly different results. Uh, I'll, I'll put the two two contrasts up. Um, they are both sort of slightly different. Obviously, one's got more detail. The other one's uh, just dramatising the scene a little bit more. Um, so it might be a case of doing a bit of blending between the two you know to uh, give a bit of backflow movement off the off the backflow from the rocks and also a bit of detail in the waves so um but we shall see uh anyway let's get some shots get a few more and then i'll put a couple up let you have a look 
and see the contrast between the two shutter speeds at one tenth and one third of a second. Okay, let's get some more. So I was just about to move from this position because uh, I've taken several shots from here and I, I just want to try something a bit different now. Um, but, and then all of a sudden that sun did break above above some cloud there and gave some nice, nice light on the front of these rocks. So uh, grabbed a few more shots whilst I could. Right, I think it's time to uh, try and find another composition. Okay, so I'm walking around to the other side of the lighthouse from where I was, um, heading round to a, a little corner, uh, which is a pulpit rock. Um, but this is really on the sort of leeward edge of these waves breaking, and I think there's going to be too much spray. But I need to. Curiosity has got the better of me, and I need to go and have a look. Um, if I get some shots, great. If not, we'll walk back the other way again. Right, let's see what we can see. So there is the uh, pulpit rock. Uh, the better angle is actually around the other side because you can see a bit of a gap between that stone that's sort of fallen against it in the front. Uh, so it's a bit awkward to get to around the other side, but. I think it may be worthwhile going around and having a look. Um, there is quite a bit of spray coming off here, but I may get away with a sh quick shot with these waves breaking up around that pulpit rock there. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, I wasn't overly um, impressed with that angle for pulpit rock. Um, I'm just walking around to the other side now, but um, I'm not sure that it's any better this side. The waves seem to be coming in at a slightly different angle to, to get any sort of dramatic breaks. Um, so it might be a case of heading back in the direction where I was before. Right, let's just fin make sure here first. Okay, so I'm just getting this shot here just now. The, the sun just broke through, absolutely amazing. It gave me some lovely backlight and light on this uh, on this surface here of these rocks where they're, where they're all wet. Um, every now and again, I'm hoping whilst I'm filming you'll get one, the, the wave comes in here and just creates a blowhole a hole and, and just spurts water into the sky. Uh, there's a big wave coming out, there she goes. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't want to be stood to that side because I would uh, be getting soaking wet. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait around a little bit more just to see if this light will return and come back 
um because i the original shot i got i was just to my right hand side just grabbed it quickly um but i've now moved a little bit more to my left and got a slightly better composition so um i'm hoping that light will just return and be kind to me just once more So the sun came back, it's actually a little bit too harsh now, so I've had to, but what I was using was, uh, in the foreground was these, these uh, just a bit of green, these, these uh, sort of dead plants just fluttering around. So I used that as a foreground. And, um, and then looking back down through that channel, as you can see, the sun has now come out really harsh behind. Um, but anyway, I've got the shot I wanted. I'm gonna walk on a bit further. So I've never actually walked this far along this uh, side before. I normally get to that, the crane bit back there and then sort of tend to float around there. Uh, but come a bit further on, it's quite a nice little scene here. We've got this rock out here in the just off just off the, the coast and these waves break in. We've got a big, big overhang rock there, which looks like it's it's cracking away there. It's sort of not far away from from actually falling off. So um but yeah, some nice light now, side light just picking up these waves as they're as they're starting to topple over and break into the white water the uh, sunlight is picking up on the on the tops and it's it's looking very nice um just got polarizer on i'm now up to one sixtieth of a second at f11 um so getting plenty of detail plenty of detail yeah looking nice Okay, play, playing a bit of a juggling act this morning. Uh, I've got camera cover over the camera in between shots because of the spray. Uh, this sea, sea air camera's gonna need a good clean when I get home. And um, looks like we've got a storm just blowing in as well. Now that light has gone completely. <coughs> so just gonna walk on a little bit further and um, just see if we can get couple more compositions uh, I think this rain will probably blow through quite quick because it's because it's so windy so um, if need be I'll just take a bit of shelter so okay let's walk on okay so as this storm is is blowing through uh, we are getting some interesting interesting light we've got some it's brighter over there towards the Sun obviously behind the cloud and then we've got this storm that's coming straight over the top of us here so i've taken that shot up through there um i've set down quite low i'm just using this plate here as a foreground i've done a nice focus on that nice sharp focus on this rusty plate so i'm down sort of looking up through and then looking up through this coastline with the uh, with the lighthouse at the end there um i'm just hoping at the moment the lighthouse is just uh just lost in the in the spray and the, and the rain a little bit so i'm just going to leave the camera exactly where it is i've got the foreground shot um i've got some coast some shots up through here focus i just want to see if that light will just break and just make that lighthouse stand out again just that little bit more because like i say it, it is just lost a little bit there okay 
I'll sit tight because this is this is blowing through there we might we might be lucky to just get a little bit of light on that lighthouse okay so the uh, the light just broke a little bit nothing special but uh, got the shot anyway so uh, get it sorted when I get back put it up let you have a look here it is Okay, so uh, walking on back now, this, this rain is getting a little bit more persistent and uh, it's not looking on the horizon like it's gonna clear to any time in the near future. So I'm just gonna walk back along the, along the coast here now, back towards Portland Bill Lighthouse and where I'm parked at the car park. And um, I think we might be calling it a morning so can I just take the opportunity to thank you for checking out my video if it's your first time on the channel please check out some of my other videos hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and also hit the uh, subscription button and notification bell to keep up with uh, latest content and uh, drop me a comment down below so from a windy, blustery morning down here at Portland Bill Lighthouse. I'm gonna call it a day. Until next time, take it easy.